I'd like to talk to you about guns. I've said what I'm about to say in an essay on my website, but people don't go there and read that. Everything is video now, or podcasts. So I'd like to encapsulate the ideas that I have about guns here. Guns are 15th century technology. No matter how advanced a particular gun is, it is made to blow a hole in a person. Think about what that means. That is about using miniaturized explosive technology to send a projectile into the corpus of another being, whether it's a mammal, an avian, or a human. That's pretty damn primitive, isn't it? I can't subdue you any other way. In the age of artificial hearts and interstellar space probes, so I'm going to fire a small slug into your body, causing massive bleeding, and probably end your life. If I don't end your life, I will cause catastrophic damage to some of the most miraculously evolved biology in living history in the universe. It's obscene. It's lowbrow. It's depraved. Now, we justify guns. My favorite living philosopher of today, or one of them, in a reposted podcast last night, was coming to me via my phone and my headphones, expressing how, though regrettable, guns are necessary because we can subdue individuals at a distance. However, we can't look at guns, and this is one of my points, in America, the way people look at guns in other countries. Now, they handle the issue of guns much better in Europe, but let me go to the places where they have mastered civilized and advanced human thinking on guns. Japan. First, recognize that in America, we have at least 30,000 gun deaths a year, while in Japan, they have between one and five. And people in Japan are not being overrun by their government. No, it's quite the opposite. People in Japan are happy to have restrictions, extreme restrictions, on the use of this kind of weapon, and they have the most civilized society on the planet. Now, to satisfy detractors, I will add that Japan is not without social problems. They have some pretty extreme ones. But publicly, the Japanese have completely mastered, to the level of science fiction, when we're dealing with superior alien races, public discord. They have mastered how to treat another person. If you would like to own a gun in Japan, you have to go to psychological counseling. Each year you have to show that you know how to use the weapon and safely store it. And if you fire it, then you have to go to more psychological counseling. Americans are bristling right now who hear this, the ones who think that our rights should trump virtue and decorum, but they are wrong. This corpus here is a virtual miracle of cosmological geological, environmental, and biological evolution. And it should be sacred. We should raise our people to know that the most tragic thing we can do is cause harm to another being such as ourselves. They've mastered this in Japan. While in America, where we don't have a comprehensive philosophy, such as Confucianism or Shintoism or Buddhism, we have different religions, many of which have violent tenets within them, if not expressed every day. And we have rights. Rights are good, but rights should be resorted to when virtue is lacking. And virtue is always lacking in this country. And this is the conclusion of my point. Concerning a weapon that blows holes in people and ruins lives causing pain, depression, and destruction of the psyche for survivors. 
it should be considered that this empowering weapon, which gives unnatural ability to human beings who can't solve problems in close range, should be extremely limited in acquisition. That's just good moral common sense that any being on any world would come to after honest thought and meditation. But Americans will throw up every excuse, including the ridiculous one, that they need such weapons to protect themselves against a government they could never beat in a war. A government with hypersonic military aircraft, a government with drones that fire heat-seeking missiles, a government with armored personnel carriers and artillery firing tanks, Apache helicopters. As Jim Jeffries says, you Americans who think you're going to fight your government, and by the way, the government is composed of your family members and your cousins and your neighbors, you're bringing guns to a drone fight. There is no winning against a government like that. Not with, not with guns. And how are the guns used most often? These days, they're used by police in our beleaguered society to kill people who aren't guilty. They're used by school-age children who are beset with depression to murder tens of their classmates. They're used by criminals. I submit to you that guns should only be locked in an arsenal in each municipality, the keys for which would be held by two trustees. And when that crazy day comes that lunatics fantasize about and we have to fight the government, those two trustees or four or five would open up the arsenal and you'd take the guns out. The only other people who should have guns are farmers and they should have to have a license. Everyone who has a gun should have to have a license. As Michael Moore said, if I want to go get my hair cut, the beautician or the barber must have a license. If I want to go fishing, I need a license. If I want to drive a car or fly a plane, I need a license. Why should I not need a license if I'm going to carry the inhuman empowering tool to kill people? It's insane. There is no other way to describe it unequivocally, across the board, end of subject. And so, in the main, people in public shouldn't have ballistic weapons. They just shouldn't. If we worked on our education system, if we developed a national philosophy that was inclusive, such as they have in Asia, we wouldn't need guns. And then it would be a simple matter of deciding that this man over here who has a gun illegally has it, and so he gets arrested and investigated, and the gun gets confiscated. There's no reason to have ballistic weapons unless you're in the military or you're a police officer fighting the people such as those in the mafia or other gangs who illegally would have guns. Think about this. <laughs>